Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some never before seen, about to be released in the near to not so distant future from Sixth Sense Baits. Baits that I've never showed on camera before. I've had them here for a while, been playing around with them a little bit. And I think some of you guys out there are gonna be excited about this stuff, especially if you like to fish for other species besides largemouth bass. Maybe do a little pan fishing, maybe make a little fish taco. Also just gonna be giving you guys a little update on everything that's been going on. I'm gonna show you how my new dog Blaze has grown, let you get a look at the puppy and see how big he's got. And like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys not only the baits that I just mentioned, but some other stuff that's coming really soon that I've been tinkering around with out there on the water. But I just wanna let you guys know that the lack of fishing videos lately was not by design. I've been fishing a lot, practically every day, all day, and it's just not been working out for me. Your boy has been having a hard time out there, getting my butt whipped, and some days I'll go out fish all day, only catch one fish. Some days I'll go out and catch like five to seven smaller fish, nothing really to write home about, and I just felt like it hasn't really been worth the time to sit down and edit and make you guys sit through a video where nothing really happened. So I've just been fishing all day, coming home and deleting the footage. I will admit, it's been tough on me. I've been really struggling to catch fish out there, and for whatever reason, I'm just in like the dumps when it comes to my game lately. I don't know if I'm just not fishing the right areas, not using the right techniques. I'm talking to other people I know, I'm learning what's working for them at the moment. People that I know are out there smashing, but for whatever reason, I've just been unable to get on them and it's been tough. That's the way she goes, boys. That's fishing and I'm not complaining. I'm very blessed and I'm happy to be living this life, getting to go out on the water and at least make an attempt practically every day. Trust me, guys, I've been trying for you. It just hasn't been working out. So I'm grateful. I'm stoked to be able to go fish every day, but I wanted to make a video for you guys. So we're back here in my office. I've got some new camera settings that I'm using. I've got some new lighting that I'm trying out, and I've really been happy with the way the test footage has been looking. So hopefully this video looks good to you guys as well. I got to admit, I've sort of been lacking on getting my footage looking the best that it could possibly look. And I'm still learning a lot about the camera and how to do proper color correction, shooting in different picture profiles, different color profiles, and all the different things that come along with learning a detailed camera like the Sony a7C you guys see me shooting these types of videos on. But I'm having fun, I'm learning a lot, and hopefully the footage is looking a little bit better for you. I've also completely redone the office lately. Got a new office desk back here, a new ultra wide 34 inch curve monitor that I've been having a blast editing on when I actually do have something to sit down and edit and I finally got the office set up the way I've always wanted. I'll do some shots around here, let you guys take a look at how everything looks behind the camera and around the room. I've got my guitar set up. I've got the flat screen back in here. I've got my iMac set up over here for streaming with my studio monitors and the audio interfaces and everything's looking really good in here. I finally got it to where it's like at a super comfortable level and I'm loving the way the office turned out. Some other stuff that's going on. I wanted to let you know about something that Sixth Sense is doing really cool for next month's Six Sack and I'm gonna crack off just a short promo video right here really quick so you guys can check that out and then we'll hop right off into showing you guys these baits. But Willy Wonka is about to open up the gates to the candy factory and he's sending out golden tickets. You guys check out this quick promo and then we're going to start looking at some of these baits that I don't even know if I'm allowed to show but we're about to do it. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission, right? Check out this golden ticket promo and then we'll check out these baits. What's up guys, I had to hop on here really quick and tell you guys about something extremely exciting that's going on over at Sixth Sense. You guys may have heard about Casey's Customs. They are one of a kind, hand painted, custom designed baits that Casey paints every month and puts up for auction. And a lot of times the prices can get on up there and the baits can be a little bit hard to obtain, but something really cool that they're doing this month in the Six Sack, if you are a Six Sack subscription holder, they're gonna send out golden tickets, 10 different golden tickets in random six sacks to people. And they're gonna get one of those Casey's Customs baits. A signature painted bait from Casey, just for being a member of the six sack subscription service. 10 lucky winners, golden ticket style, Willy Wonka style. I got a golden ticket. Every single one of these Casey's Customs for golden ticket winners, it's gonna be a draw, dudes. A custom painted draw, one of a kind, incredible paint scheme, hand painted by the man himself, Casey Sobsack. I think that is incredible. I'm extremely excited. I myself am a six sack subscriber. So 
You guys check out sixcentsfishing.com, get signed up for the six sack if you're not already and you're automatically eligible and you could receive a golden ticket and a custom painted draw from Casey. You have until tomorrow night at midnight to get in on the action and I just think this is super cool. Like I said, those baits, the customs can get on up there in price and this right here is one way the six cents has come up with to give back and hook up six sack subscription holders. Freaking awesome, just wanna let you guys know about that. Tomorrow at midnight is the cutoff so get in where you fit in. Don't sleep. If you're already a Six Sack subscriber, get excited because this is awesome and you could get a golden ticket. But if you sign up before tomorrow at midnight, you're in it to win it. And don't forget to use my code jr 6 sack Knock $10 off the price of that first sack. And good luck, everybody. All right, guys, there that was the golden ticket going out. Make sure you get in on that. It's a really cool opportunity to get your hands on a custom painted glide bait, the most expensive bait the Sixth Sense offers in one of a kind hand painted colors by the man, the myth, the legend, El Presidente, the owner of the company, the creator of Sixth Sense Fishing, Casey Sobsack. I'm really excited. I hope I get a golden ticket, but something tells me I probably won't. It's gonna be 10 of you guys. Now let's get off into looking at some of these baits. So Sixth Sense has been sending me some stuff, some prototype stuff, some final phase stuff that's coming in the near or not too distant future. And I finally got the green light to show you some of this. I'm gonna show you all of it and we'll just let the cards fall where they may. I also got a couple rods over here that I'm gonna show you guys some stuff I've been playing with. The limited success that I have had out there on the water, the fish that I did catch, I'm gonna show you the baits that I've been catching them on, the stuff that's been working out for me. I'm just gonna show you guys the breakdown. And as you can see, I also have a spinning rod over here. So let's just get right into it, man. Let's look at something that's coming from Sixth Sense outside of their normal wheelhouse, all right? This is some exciting stuff, especially if you guys like to fish for panfish or crappie. Check it out, dude. Six cents is coming out with crappie baits. I'm gonna show you guys all these right now. I'm gonna start off with these soft plastics right here. This is the Pecos swim bait. As you can see, it's a small profile, paddle tail, crappie style, or panfish targeting. Swim bait, something really cool about the name, the Pecos swim bait. My old man, my dad, Donnie Royal, raised in Pecos, Texas. So as soon as I saw that, I thought that was really cool. They got some really awesome colors. This one right here is chartreuse minnow. They got the black neon. That's a really cool color. For those of you that like the pink baits, this one is black rose. Check that one out. Yeah, I'm gonna bust one of these out and we'll look at it up close and personal. This one is the royal minnow. I wonder, uh, I wonder if I had any influence on that. Probably not, it's just a royal blue with a white or clear belly. Yeah, it looks like a clear shad belly. Nice. And then this one right here, tried and true, the platinum white, one of Sixth Sense staple colors. It's just uh, white with silver and gold flake in it. But let's crack off into this one. Take a look at this royal minnow. As always, you know, the soft plastics from Sixth Sense, at least their swim baits are gonna come in these clam shells. So that's nice. Let's pull one of these bad boys out of here. I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't even opened this and got my hands on these yet. This is a first time right here with you guys. And I can tell you my first impressions, the plastic is really soft. And this thing is tiny. Look at this thing. I don't know if you guys could see, I mean, there's my finger. I mean, these are small, one and a half inches long. These little guys were meant to be paired up with the Pecos Underspin Jig Head. And I have some of those right here. I'll show you right now. So this right here up top, is the Pecos Underspin Jig Head. This is that black rose color. We'll go ahead and crack off into this. I actually gave my dad a pack of these, so I've only got this one left. But we can take a look at, oh man, this packaging is nice, dude. I'm gonna have to, I need a chainsaw to get in here. So this one, give me a second, we'll get it. This one up top is the Underspin. If you order these, you're gonna get the little underspin and a little pack of swim baits to go with it. But there's a look at the Pecos underspin, dudes. Look at this thing. Nice little gold mini Colorado blade on there. Got that hot pink and black. Nice. Really sharp hook. Awesome. The Pecos underspin jig head and the Pecos swim bait. Designed for pan fishing, man. The crop of moles. But wait. There's more, check these out. They got hair jigs coming too. These are the Pluck hair jigs. This is the Royal Minnow color, blue and white. And they've also got this one right here, which is Pro Chicken. I've actually got one of these tied onto the rod right here. I'll show you what I've been throwing it on. I've just been out there playing around, trying to figure out what I'm even doing. Cause you guys know me, I always just fish for largemouth. I haven't fished for crappie in a long time, 
but I did used to go crappie fishing all the time when I was a little bit younger. But check that bad boy out. That's the Pluck Hair Jig. Really nice, vibrant chartreuse. Again, sharp hook. Let's see what it says. One eighth of an ounce. And that's a pretty sick looking little hair jig right there, dude. I've got one tied on over here on the Six Cents USA Custom. Seven foot medium. Maybe a little too powerful of a rod, I don't know. Seems to be tossing this thing out there just fine. Throwing it on the USA Custom Series. Seven foot medium spinning rod. I have a Sedona with 10 pound braid to like eight pound fluorocarbon leader on here. I haven't caught anything on it yet. Like I said, guys, I'm out there fishing for largemouth, but I have been, you know, just making some casts, throwing at some fish that I see on the scope and playing around with this little hair jig. And this is gonna be my crappie setup for the near future. I don't have any dedicated crappie gear, so I'm gonna have to go with the spinning setup. Here's some more of those pluck hair jigs right here. This is the gum minnow, nice little pink and white color. Almost raw, but it looks to be painted. It looks to be painted silver actually, so it's not raw, but it's just, you know, your flat silver head. The pluck hair jigs for crappie, but wait, there's more. Check these out. These are the Spangle tinsel jigs. Chartreuse minnow is the color on this one. These are a quarter ounce, so a little bit heavier, and they just really reminiscent of those, you know, the, the, the crappie jigs that you would get in the tackle aisle at Walmart back in the day when you were going pan fishing. Something you guys may not know about me is I grew up fishing for bluegill, perch, sunfish, panfish. That was like how I really cut my teeth. Cool story, I'll tell you. My babysitter, when I was young enough to need a babysitter, she had a son, his name was Todd. And me and Todd, every single day, once I would go over to the babysitter's house, he was a little bit older than me, so he was old enough to where he could run around and he would drag me with him to all the ponds that were around our neighborhood. We would walk for miles sometimes, just getting to a pond so that we could catch some bluegill. And these are the types of baits we would throw a lot of the time right here. This is the Spangle Tinsel Jig from Sixth Sense. Check out this awesome rainbow fiber optic looking tail. I don't know how well you guys can see the color, but it's got some really cool color variation going on in there. Like a hologram, green, purple, blue, my style of colors right there. And then it has this green tinsel around the hook. And that right there is a raw mold on the jig head there. No paint on that one. A little bit heavier, a little bit larger profile, vertical line tie. The Spangle. I like the name, dude. The Spangler. Reminds me of Spangler off of uh, Ghostbusters. That's probably what I'll be calling it. The old Spangler here. This reminds me of the time you tried to drill a hole through your head. Remember that? That would have worked if you hadn't stopped me. And I'm looking forward to getting out and trying some of this stuff. So there it is, guys. The cat's out of the bag. Six Cents has been working on crappie baits. I'm sure some of you guys might have known about that already. It's been hinted at here and there. I'm stoked to be able to finally show you guys some of this stuff. The Pecos Underspin and the Pecos Swim Bait, the Spangler Tinsel Jigs, the Pluck Hair Jigs. All this stuff is coming soon from Six Cents. Don't ask me when, they don't tell me specific dates. But check this out. I have some other stuff that I wanna show you. Really quickly, I wanna talk about this bad boy right here. So if you watched the recent Six Sack unboxing, you saw where I talked about this Shad Scream Whale 4.0, the new Whale 4.0, a new size in the Whale just got released, and how this color was a Six Sack exclusive that you can't get outside of being a Six Sack subscriber. Well, this axle swinging swim jig is actually exclusive color as well. That's just one thing that sets that six sack apart. You're gonna be getting your hands on colors that aren't available to the general public. The one that I hear about the most is that Bluegill Candy Crush 50XR. People still ask me for those. I had a guy yesterday messaging me asking how he could get a hold of one. That's just a really cool thing about the six sack that they do, putting exclusive colors in. And you guys saw that golden ticket promo you got a chance to get your hands on a custom painted, one of a kind, hand painted by Casey Draw next month if you are a Six Sack subscriber. So check out the Six Sack, sixcentsfishing.com. JR Six Sack will knock $10 off the price of that first sack. It's a $50 value, but with that JR Six Sack code, you're gonna get the price of that first sack down to like 27 bucks. Insane deal. We always have a blast cracking off into the Six Sack. But wait, there's more. I have another new bait that's coming soon that I wanna show you guys, and I've actually been fishing this one. So this right here, is the Axle Finesse Jig. And I'm gonna tell you, out of all the axles that they've ever come out with, I think this one is the one I'm most excited about. Primarily because the hook size is smaller. You know, the, the other axles, they have a larger hook, like a five-aught hook. This one has got a three-aught hook on it. So that's gonna do really well out on my body of water. Three-aught hook, this is a half ounce of green pumpkin. I've also got this one right here, which is a beautiful color tipped craw and then this one right here is a plum bug and I actually have one of these bad boys rigged up. I'm gonna go grab it really quick and I'll be right back. Hang on. So here's the one that I've been fishing guys. 
As you can see, it's a finesse jig. It's got the finesse cut. That's what finesse jig means. It's got this crazy haircut on it with the shorter skirt strands around the head of the bait. Now you guys may know the axle swinging swim jig, the hook connects to the head of the jig right here at this pivot point. The hardware is capable of moving. And when you set the hook, this bad boy is gonna yeet upwards and crack off right into the roof of the eater. I got a bongo on the back here. This is one of the sunfish colored bongos. Been pairing up really nicely. Been dragging this thing around, been getting bit on it. But like I said, the videos just haven't turned out to where I can make a full fishing video for you guys. But you will see this in my arsenal. I've really been enjoying throwing this. I think it pairs up great with the bongo. And like I said, man, with that three-aught hook, I think this is gonna do really well on my lake. This right here is gonna help me not miss any bites. Another jig I wanna talk to you guys about really quickly. Something that was happening to me last time I was out there. I was actually throwing the regular six cents ball head finesse jig with a watermelon bongo on the back of it. And I just randomly, accidentally started swimming this thing back to the boat around some docks and they were smoking it. So I was actually swimming this thing, fishing it like a swim jig. It's a ball head finesse jig meant to be dragged around and hopped around like a jig, but I was swimming it and they were smoking it. I was doing a lot of dragging, not getting bit at all. And then all of a sudden, randomly, I threw this up under a dock. And as I was reeling it back up to the boat, I got cracked and I caught one. And then I threw it back up under that dock and I just started swimming it again and I cracked another one. Two in a row. And it was crazy how well this thing actually swims. Ball head finesse jig, swimming around a finesse jig. I know it's a little unorthodox, but I was doing it and they were eating it. Got a bongo on the back of that bad boy, watermelon red, kicking and flicking. Yeah, it's just something I wanted to show you guys. Throwing the finesse jig. The finesse jigs I throw on my 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod, and this rod is in stock on sixcentsfishing.com. A couple of the models are sold out, but you can still get your hands on a 7.2 excellent finesse jig rod. I feel like it's dialed for the little finesse jigs. This bait, the ball head, and the axle finesse jig. Money, 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series. You guys check it out. Use JR10 at checkout for 10% off the rods, the baits, everything on the website. And it's also an excellent way for you guys to support the channel. If you guys like what I have going on over here and you wanna help me continue to make these God dang it, Bobby. If you guys like what I have going on over here and you wanna help me continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube, check out sixcentsfishing.com and use that JR10 code at checkout. I cannot tell you guys how much it really helps you guys, the JR10 Army, are the lifeblood of the channel. And as always, if you use my code JR10 on SixCentsFishing.com, I'm going to give you a shout out on my personal Instagram account. We just hit 35,000. If you place an order, use that JR10 at checkout. They'll send you a confirmation email. Just take a screenshot, DM it to me at the Justin Royal on Instagram, and I will post it up, tag your account. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you all some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running. Because best believe, without you guys, there are no videos. So shout out to the JR10 Army. I got another setup over here I want to show you. This is something else I've been having a lot of fun fishing lately. This is the bongo, but just straight up TR. As you can see, it's a TR bongo. So this right here, got it pegged with a little red bead, make a little bit of extra noise. That's a quarter ounce tungsten bullet weight. I'll bump it up to a three eighths ounce if I want to go a little bit heavier, but I've been going with a lighter weight lately. Help me keep from getting snagged in the rocks and also slower fall so that those claws will be kicking and flicking on the way down to the bottom. That's a green pumpkin juice bongo with the three-aught EWG hook. The TR bongo, really been having fun throwing this around. And my homie Dave, the mangler, been out there smashing them on this setup. And he's uh, one of the reasons kind of inspired me to tie that on and try it out. Like I said though, I was dragging around for like two or three hours the other day, not getting bit at all. And then all of a sudden, I started randomly swimming that finesse jig and getting cracked. It was crazy. Crazy how fast the bite can change. You know, one day they want it on the bottom, very next day they want it moving. Those fish change their minds so much. It's been driving me crazy lately, which is why we're in here in the office talking tackle, talking baits, instead of out there on the water fishing. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, if you like what I got going on over here and you like talking tackle and you like on the water fishing videos, click that subscribe button. Help me grow this sucker. It's really easy. It's free. and I can't do this without you guys. We're trying to hit 100,000 over here on the channel. So that's the goal. I say it out loud all the time. You guys have heard me go on and on about it i appreciate the support just click that subscribe button if you're watching and you're not already subscribed i have some really exciting stuff coming your way since the bite's been so tough i locked in plans earlier this morning and me and junebug are hitting the road we're headed to some other lakes where there are megas 
and I'm going to go back chasing the dragon. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you want to ride along with me, see all the footage that I capture while I'm on the road, I'm going to be meeting up with Captain Ron, fellow Wolfpack member, and me and him are going to go run around on his boat, on my boat. We're going to do some scouting on some different lakes, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and I would love for you guys to be a part of it and ride with us on that journey. So click that subscribe button. A couple more things I want to show you before I end this video. And one of these things, I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you. This isn't a bait that's coming soon or anything. This is just something that I was gifted almost three years ago when I first met Casey. And I just wanted to share it with you guys in this video. I appreciate you sticking with me through the good times and the bad. So I'm going to let this cat out of the bag. I've had this on the tackle wall in plain sight, but hidden because it's small where nobody's ever seen this thing before, but I'm going to show you right now. This is a very special bait to me. One that's never seen the water. It's also a custom painted bait, something that Casey hand painted for me. So this is just a little glimpse of what one of those custom draws may potentially look like. But, but from what I've seen, the paint schemes on those draws are even crazier, more detailed. And this is nothing compared to what's going to be going out to those golden ticket winners. But speaking of custom painted baits, I'm going to show you this one first. This is something that this isn't the bait I was talking about, but this is another one that uh, Casey did up for me. Uh, this is the Heater C6. And this bait is just so beautiful. It's a really nice, subtle shad blue on the back of a bone white C6 with just a little touch of chartreuse on the chin and those gold eyes. This is another custom. Casey whipped this up really quick and put it on sale in a limited run and they all sold out, but I was able to get my hands on one. That's the Heater C6. As you can see, the card in the package right there, limited edition by Casey Sobsack, the Heater. That's pretty cool. If you are a Six Sack subscriber, you will have your opportunity to get your hands on a limited edition, one of a kind, Casey Sobsack Custom. But this one right here, this bait is super special, guys. Like I said, I don't I don't think this is a bait that's that's coming, you know, this isn't anything that's that's been made public that's gonna be going into production or anything. But this right here, that's a flat-sided deep diver that Casey painted for me and gifted me the first time I ever met him. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful gold lavender. It's like a color shift on the back, almost dark royal blue fading off into a gold yellow lateral line, white belly and sides, gold eyes, extremely sharp hooks and hardware. But like I said, I've never thrown this. I've been so scared to throw it because I don't want to get it snagged and lose it. It's a very special bait to me. And I just thought I would show that to you guys in this video. If you guys appreciate me taking some risk here and potentially getting in trouble from the powers that be for showing you all this stuff, like I said, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be showing all this on camera. We're going to find out because I'm going to post it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you appreciate that, click that like button. Go down below in the comments and let me know which one of these baits was your favorite. Which one are you most looking forward to getting your hands on when they finally drop? Do you fish for crappie? Do you fish for panfish, bluegill, sunfish, that kind of stuff? If you do, let me know. Tell me which one of those crappie baits you're looking forward to getting your hands on. Again, I apologize for the lack of strictly fishing videos, but we got to do something to keep the content rolling. And I know a lot of you guys like the Tackle Talk videos and the videos like this where we talk techniques and show baits up close and personal. And this is something that I've done since the beginning of the fishing videos here on this channel, something I will continue to do, especially when the bite gets tough. So I appreciate you all more than you will ever know. I want to give a massive shout out to the Heater Army. If you guys don't know about the Heater, army there's like 80 plus members and that absolutely blows my mind you guys are insane mad love to the heater army we do a heaters only exclusive live stream every friday night for heater army members if you want to be a part of the live stream and you want to come hang out with me personal style one-on-one -on -one, ask me anything i talk about things that i never talk about publicly here on the channel or on instagram we don't hide anything in the live stream it's a place where we can sort of sit back cut loose relax a little bit not be so closed-lipped about some things and i always have a blast doing the heaters only live stream if you want to get in on that you can click that top link down below in the video description and learn more about becoming a heater army member yourself get in on the live stream get access to unseen unreleased uncut raw and unedited content that's only available for heater army members you get special badges and emojis other cool stuff i also will always respond to your comment if you're a heater army member every heater army member always gets a response in the comment section from me something else special that i do for anyone who joins the heater army if you see at the end of the videos there's a big list of names that scrolls across the screen anyone who joins the heater army your name gets included in that list so if you want to see your name at the end of every video top link down below in the description you can learn more about the heater army and how to become a member yourself but let's check out 
My boy Blaze, I want to show you guys the puppy, let you see how big he's gotten lately. He's growing so fast, it blows my mind. He's about four months old now, and man, this sucker is putting on weight. Let me go grab him. All right, guys, here he is. This is my boy Blaze, as you can see. He's got a little bigger since the last time y'all saw him. We got him back in September and he's been growing like a freaking weed. He's a Dutch Shepherd. He's absolutely beautiful. His brindle's really starting to pop. You can see the silver around his neck and his shoulders. Oh, he just woke up from a nap. So I got him up to bring him in here and show you. That's my boy right here. He's such a smart dog, guys. His training has been going insane. I work him every day. He's so smart. He's smarter than my other two dogs combined. Oh, he's also restless. Look at that beautiful brindle on the back of his head. Hey, you chill out. Look at the camera. Yeah, check out his colors. He's so smart, guys. His obedience training, he's rocking it, dude. He knows so many commands. Hey, he's barking at the baits that are on the floor right now. He's also a guard dog, as you can hear. Get him, buddy. You don't like those crappie baits? He said, he said, I like bass fishing. He's barking at the freaking crappie baits. But anyways, he's so smart. His obedience training is going so well, and he knows so many commands. He's a brilliant dog, the smartest dog that I've ever worked with. There he is next to Cooper. Look at him, he's almost as big as Cooper. That is crazy. He's always terrorizing Cooper. And there you can see a really good look at his colors. He was over here barking at the crappie baits that I have sitting on the floor. Anytime something changes, Blaze alerts to it. But hey, don't be biting Cooper. Yeah, you be sweet to Cooper, he's old. There's my two boys right there. Enzo's somewhere else, but hey, Blaze, don't bite Cooper. Anyways, guys, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the puppy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>